All right, it's high tech versus <laughs> high threat in the Florida Everglades. Habits. Florida scientists hope that these fluffy decoys can help with a very real problem. Burmese pythons have devastated native wildlife in the Everglades. Researchers turn to tech, hoping robotic rabbits can lure the snakes out. Could robots save endangered species? Florida's $4,000 rabbit decoys might be the answer. Deep in Florida's Everglades, a $4,000 rabbit is on patrol. But it's not what it seems. This high-tech robot is designed to fool giant Burmese pythons, one of the deadliest predators in the wetlands. Let us find out how these mechanical rabbits are changing the fight against invasive pythons. Chapter 1. Florida's Clever Robotic Rabbit Experiment The Florida Everglades may look like an untouched paradise, but hidden beneath the beauty is a growing crisis. Giant Burmese pythons, snakes that can stretch more than 18 feet, have silently taken over for decades. In some parts of the Everglades, small mammal populations have dropped by more than 90%. Rabbits, raccoons, opossums, and even deer have become easy prey. Traditional control methods, from hunting challenges to radio tracking, have made only a small dent. To fight back, Florida's wildlife managers have introduced robotic rabbits. Costing around $4,000 each, these lifelike machines mimic marsh rabbits, radiating heat and moving subtly to lure pythons. When a snake approaches, researchers and hunters can step in to capture it. The project, led by the South Florida Water Management District and the University of Florida, shows how science and creativity can come together in unexpected ways. A robot rabbit quietly sitting in the swamp becomes a clever trap and a lifeline for Florida's struggling wildlife. Chapter 2. The Technology of Robo-Rabbits At first glance, a robo-bunny might look like a child's toy left behind in the swamp, but up close, these decoys are surprisingly advanced. Each rabbit has been carefully engineered to fool not just people, but one of nature's most efficient hunters. Inside their furry shells are heating elements that give off warmth, mimicking the body temperature of a living marsh rabbit. Pythons, which rely on heat-sensing pits near their mouths to detect prey, are drawn in by this subtle signal. Movement is another key feature. Small motors allow the robo-bunnies to twitch, hop slightly, or shift in place, making them appear alive even when viewed from a distance. Solar panels keep them powered in the hot Florida sun, while waterproof casings protect the electronics during heavy rains or flooding in the wetlands. In some models, hidden cameras and motion sensors are installed. When a python approaches, the system records video and can even alert nearby researchers. Designers have gone further still. Some prototypes are being tested with scent diffusers that release the smell of a real rabbit, making the illusion almost complete. Unlike live rabbits, which require constant feeding and care, these mechanical versions can stay in the field for weeks with little maintenance. To a python, they are irresistible targets. To scientists, they are durable tools. And to Florida's conservation teams, they represent hope that technology can tip the balance in a battle the snakes have been winning for too long. Chapter 3. How Florida is covering the Everglades with mechanical prey. The Robo Bunnies started as a small pilot project, more of an experiment than a full solution. Early in the summer, just 40 of the decoys were placed across selected areas of the Everglades. Researchers watched carefully, studying how pythons reacted and whether the machines could truly survive the tough conditions of Florida's wetlands. The results were promising. Snakes were lured toward the decoys, and the technology held up against heat, rain, and mud. Encouraged by this success, officials decided to scale up. Today, 120 robo-bunnies are scattered throughout the Everglades, quietly working as round-the-clock sentinels. Each one costs around $4,000, a price that might sound steep until you consider the cost of doing nothing. Left unchecked, pythons threaten to erase much of Florida's native wildlife, with long-term ecological damage that no budget could repair. Compared to the expense of constant manual hunts or the difficulty of breeding and releasing live rabbits as bait, the mechanical approach is more practical and sustainable. Deploying them is not as simple as dropping toys in the grass. Teams have to carefully position each unit in areas where python activity is high, sometimes traveling by airboat or hiking deep into remote swamps. 
Once in place, the robots are left to do their work, powered by sunlight and built to withstand the elements. Unlike live animals, they never tire, never need feeding, and never panic when predators come close. Each one becomes a tiny outpost in the broader battle to reclaim Florida's wild heart. Chapter 4. Do Robo-Rabbits Really Work? The big question is whether Robo-Bunnies actually work. To find out, researchers first looked at earlier trials with live rabbits. In one study, nine pens with real marsh rabbits were placed in Python territory. Within 90 days, 22 snakes were drawn in, often lingering for more than an hour as they stalked their prey. The conclusion was clear. Rabbits, whether real or artificial, are irresistible to pythons. With the mechanical versions, the challenge was whether the decoys could survive and perform in the harsh environment. Early reports are promising. Hunters and monitoring teams have seen pythons approach the robo-bunnies, circling cautiously before moving in. Cameras inside some units have captured these encounters, offering valuable insight into snake behavior. What makes this approach powerful is consistency. A live rabbit can only last so long in a pen, while a robo-bunny can stay in place for weeks, always radiating warmth and subtle movement. Each one acts as a long-term lure, creating more opportunities for snakes to be found and removed. It is still early days, but initial evidence suggests the robo-bunnies are doing what they were designed for, drawing elusive pythons out of hiding. With further refinements, they could become a key tool in controlling the population. Chapter 5. The High Stakes Behind the Python Battle The stakes in Florida's python problem could not be higher. Burmese pythons are not just a nuisance, they are a full-blown ecological threat. Since their introduction through the exotic pet trade and subsequent spread after hurricanes, these giant snakes have multiplied with almost no natural predators. In parts of the Everglades, populations of small mammals and birds have declined by over 90%, leaving empty habitats where once a vibrant ecosystem thrived. Rabbits, raccoons, and even deer now live under constant threat, and the ripple effects are felt throughout the food chain. Each python removed represents more than a single animal. It is a step toward restoring balance in fragile ecosystems. Efforts to track, hunt, and capture these snakes have been ongoing for decades, but the Everglades is vast, remote, and difficult to navigate. Traditional methods are labor-intensive and time-consuming, making it nearly impossible to control such a widespread population effectively. This is where the robo-bunnies come in. By providing a constant, enticing lure, they extend the reach of human hunters and researchers into areas that are otherwise inaccessible. They allow conservationists to act strategically rather than reactively, focusing on hot spots where snakes are likely to hunt. Beyond just the mechanical effectiveness, the project symbolizes Florida's commitment to innovation in conservation. It shows that when conventional methods fall short, creativity and technology can offer new hope. Chapter 6. The Future of Python Control while the RoboBunny project is still in its early stages, the vision for the future is ambitious. Officials hope to expand the program in the coming years, deploying more units across the Everglades, especially in areas where endangered species are most at risk. Each new generation of RoboBunnies may feature improved artificial intelligence, allowing them to detect pythons more accurately while ignoring harmless snakes. Enhanced scent technology could make the decoys even more irresistible, while solar-powered batteries and rugged designs ensure they can operate continuously in the harsh wetlands. Researchers also see the project as a model for other regions facing invasive species problems. The combination of technology, ecological science, and creative problem-solving could inspire new approaches to conservation worldwide. What once seemed like a whimsical idea, mechanical rabbits patrolling the swamps, may soon become a standard tool in wildlife management. For Florida, the stakes remain high. Burmese pythons continue to reproduce and spread, and the Everglades' delicate ecosystems are still under pressure. But with each robo-bunny quietly doing its work, researchers and hunters are gaining an edge in a battle that has long seemed impossible. It is a reminder that sometimes, innovation takes unexpected forms, and that even a small mechanical rabbit can play a big role in protecting the natural world. Florida's robo-bunnies show that even a small mechanical rabbit can make a big difference. In the fight against invasive pythons, sometimes the cleverest predator isn't the snake, 
but the rabbit it cannot resist. If you enjoyed this story, don't forget to like and subscribe.